Greetings, everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Isaac Newton, uh, Principia, Masters of Science. Um, just starting to, again, I, I've been about two weeks since I played, other than the last video. Uh, so I'm just starting, and I'm recording these all at once. So I'm just starting to figure out how to play the game again, or gaining some new insights into the game. Knowledge appears to allow you to break into other topics uh, and my identity of light I don't know if anyone else has enough knowledge in optics to move into the identity of light so that might be I was trying to move into arithmetic because it didn't seem like there was too many discoveries I thought I could try to maybe grab it quickly since uh, there is a superiority there but you know what arithmetics if I can get my knowledge up to 40 no one I don't think I don't know if anyone is in this field whatever it is yet so let's go ahead, and I'm not sure if um, knowledge has an impact on your, uh, ah, I see skills right there. Knowledge should probably have an impact on reasoning, I'm assuming. Skills should affect the calculations with the effect of the apparatus. What I'm assuming. Let's try to go through reasoning to see if there's, I think it only went up two last time. So let's see, since we broke into 30, will it go up 3 now? And then we know knowledge will have an effect on calculation. I may have figured this stuff out in previous videos, but uh, no, it didn't really have an effect there. Okay. Again, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself in this series, because it's been like a lot of time in between. I'm kind of busy actually with my own education. I'm currently writing a master's thesis in history so things have been a little bit busy practicing dynamics practicing drawing okay here we go what is my next move two turns I'll have enough money to buy that uh, slide ruler will then help with the calculations. So let's go ahead and beef up the skills of mathematics in preparation for that slide ruler. Gambling, theory, we've talked about that before. Skills are now up to 30. Maybe skills affect reasoning? Doesn't make That wouldn't make sense. Astronomy, speed of light is infinite. Whoa! Is he gonna write that paper? Where is he? That's Boyle. Is he up here? He wrote the paper on the fact that the speed of light is infinite. I think my plan was to uh, discredit him if he published it, or discredit whoever did publish it. That will be a shame, because uh, I think we have good relations with Isaac Barrow. He's got a lot of money, too. He's a fellow at the Royal London Society. Interesting. Wow, I could tear that society down. And then just publish in Paris. Cause Paris, I think, has the authority. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do it again. Get out of here. I always get nervous when I click on the wrong area. What am I trying to do? Ah, laboratory. Why this other information is under the laboratory panel, I don't know. Not universities. Back it up. I want not observed. I want academies. The French Academy of Sciences has the authority here. I don't know if that matters. It matters if I bring down my contemporaries. Okay, so we just uh, improved our skills to 30. So let's see if that has an effect on reasoning. Integers. No, had no effect on reasoning. Reasoning is reasoning. I should read books in mathematics. Because maybe it. What's going on here? Nope, nothing. We have the money. Time to buy the slide ruler. 
Wait a minute, that's not what I want to do. What the heck is that? What was that? That was not English. The original language is not English of this game, FYI. I may have mentioned that too before. It is like Mandarin or something, or Japanese. We're gonna go to slide rule here. Which will increase mathematics plus six. Price is 1200. Bang! An analog calculator that allows you to work out the value of multiplications and indices by reading its scales. Yes. All right, our skill and knowledge in mathematics has improved. Let's move into the laboratory. Let's bring an apparatus into play here. There we go, slide ruler, calculate. Powers are a convenient concept, but their notion not be, but can their notion not be improved somehow? That's a big calculation. Oh, skills in mathematics have gone up. This is the way to go. We're gonna be doing calculations. I wonder if your reasoning improves as your calculations improve. Let's do another calculation. Because I think the calculations are what reveal the discoveries. But there's got to be something for reasoning. I don't know what reasoning does. Look at that. All the way up to 10. Skills, mathematics, plus 2. Financial aid. Nice. From Isaac Barrow. And I'm going to tear him down. Oh, man. I regard your exceptional research with the utmost respect. I don't have that respect for you. I will take your money, though. Must remember gratitude for his turn of goodwill. Yes. I shall not squander goodwill. Great reputation. Great friendship there. But am I about to rip him apart? Is that uh, Edmund Halley? He's got a lot of skills. He's got a lot of stars there. I don't know what the stars mean. Okay. Back to the map. Isaac Barrow. Did you publish that paper? I don't think so. He's not published that paper yet. For me, back to the laboratory. Calculations have improved. Now let's see if reasoning and skill improves with the enhanced calculations. Integers. Yes, it did. Now, was it because of that or was it because my skills went up? Hmm. And it's early in the morning, so my mind isn't really... My brain hasn't really... It's still warming up, basically. So I'm losing track of what I'm doing, really. Oh, here we go. It would appear that I could use more reasoning. Let's do some more calculations, because those seem to be going up quicker. And whatever they're doing, they're having an impact on reasoning. Calculations up 10. Skill mathematics of 40. Hold on a second. Here we go. Discovery. Concept of a final digit doesn't apply to pi. Hmm. Sudden idea. Pi is an irrational number. Here we go. Wait a minute. Doesn't somebody already have that? I think somebody already has that. I can't publish on that if somebody has it published already. Let's see what the, is going on here. Arithmetic. Ah, somebody already published on that. Gottfried. 
who is the authority. That's all he's studying in arithmetic. He has two discoveries unlocked. Oh my god, he's probably working on something else. What's he got? Any other papers? Just that paper. Published. Alright. I gotta keep moving. Keep moving in mathematics if I'm gonna catch up with them. More calculations with the slide ruler. Slide ruler, I think, is giving us a huge advantage. There's a pattern to solving cubic equations, however, substituting is a task in itself. Calculations are up to 48. Skill in mathematics is up to 42. Uh, we're about to fully complete all the calculations in arithmetic. Authority and combustion, that's fine, I'm not going into that area. Practicing optics. Practicing optics. People are going back into optics. Further calculations. Yes, you do. Do it again one more time. Hopefully this will max it out. Give me 12, please. Give me 12. Pattern solving cubic equations. Ooh. Almost got it. I hate that. Now I have to like waste a turn. Lethargic. Somebody was lethargic. Alright, let's conduct some reasoning. Integers. Reasoning is now up to five. Alright, so we're going to try something. If I can get that up to the calculation, or the, yeah, the calculation's up to 60, then I know that Calculations have a direct... Ah! Mr. Isaac Newton's paper on the spread of light is finite, lacks credibility. Baseless conjecture, eh? Gonna challenge me? Got free? Is that because I'm moving into his field, probably? Ah, look at that strategy. Yep, that's because I'm moving. He's trying to... Uh, cripple me in uh, in optics, but it's not gonna work because it, criticisms are farcical. Very good. Now all that does is waste his turn and also hurts our reputation. So I should take advantage of the fact that he's wasting his turn. Max out my calculations. Uh, what the heck? Who is this now? Robert Hook? Everyone's challenging me. You can't challenge my paper. Not gonna work. It's the truth. We've proved it. Proven it. Proved. Okay. Okay. Inaccurate. Farcical. Get out of here. Hook. Hit the road. Hook. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to calculate here, just to get up to 60, and then see if I can get plus six on all my reasonings. Maybe this will help discover something. Skill in mathematics went up a lot. Ah, there we go, we got a discovery, beautiful. Yeah, the fifth, I thought I had this before. I know I've looked at this, this is true, I looked it up. That's crazy. What are the other? 28? No. I think 28. Is the other perfect number? No, 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 no. Perfect number. Do they explain perfect number in the encyclopedia? Let's see what we got here. No, all they're doing is talking about the different items that I've uncovered. But I think it has to do with what is all this? Event images, items, sketches. Okay. That's the encyclopedia. The numbers that I can't figure it out. I can't say it right now. 
The sum of the divisors of the number equal the number. I think that's what it is. I am not a math student. I'm a history student. Okay. Here we go. But I should have learned all that in probably high school or something like that. All right, here we go. Um, let's see if the reasoning is now up to six. Probably not high school, probably elementary school. I don't, I don't remember when I learned prime numbers. Six is a prime number. 28, I think, is a prime number. Eight. 84. I have a phone around here. Alright. Um, no, that didn't go up as high as 6. Financial aid. Very good. I need it. Hi, Anton. Anton's our buddy. Yes, I will take his money. Good relations with Anton. The other thing is, I should start improving my relations with members of the uh, French Academy of Sciences because I do want to become a fellow there. That would give me a lot of uh, money. All right, let's go into this uh, theory of uh, fifth perfect number. Not prime number, perfect number. Oh. Okay. Prove the theory. Alright. It ought to be that the fifth perfect number is three, 33 million, whatever. Uh, it's just as my theory hypothesized. I should incorporate this fact into my paper. It may make it publicly known. We are almost complete with this. Perfect number. Okay, back to the perfect number. Almost complete. Here we go. Let's prove the theory. It ought to be the fifth perfect number is 33 million, etc. If I could just. Yep, there it is. We have completed. The theory and it is now time to publish write compose a paper then we'll publish it and I don't think anyone is onto this other than us we would have I would have probably noticed the numbers okay time to write a paper actually yeah we'll do one more turn Compose the paper. Now this is a thesis, no mistake. I pride myself on composing such a piece. While we're searching arithmetic, I reached conclusion that the fifth perfect number is 33 million, etc. Okay. Paper has been written. It's going to be time to publish. Let's go ahead and publish it. I'll publish it in this video. That'll be the end of this video. Then we'll move on to the next. Two theories in mathematics. We have one paper written. Let's submit this paper to the French Academy of Sciences. Ooh, London has increased its authority. But that's a huge authority advantage that the French Academy of Sciences has. Here we go. All right, well, we've seen, I've read that a hundred times. All right, um, paper from Mr. Isaac Newton addressed to the French Academy of Sciences has arrived. I would like to render a verdict on the evaluation of this paper in our capacity as a French, assign, 
French Academy of Sciences, what is the opinion of the secretary? I see a fascinating paper, is it not? I concur. Naturally, I'm in great favor. I decided we shall accept the paper. Beautiful. Prestige, fame, everything. We have now published the paper in arithmetic. Fifth perfect number is garnering critical acclaim. My fame has almost reached over uh, 300. And we are really pro proffering research fees. I like that. Thank you. The funds have now gone up to 692. And the authority of the French uh, Academy of Science is up to 178. And I have become the authority of mathematics. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. And I think to continue to maintain my control over the authority on this area of arithmetics, I am going to go ahead and try to get that other discovery before either one of these two. So we're going to go for that one next. But this is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Publish another paper. We are Isaac Newton is the authority in two areas: disposition of light and arithmetic. Is anyone else in the authority of two? That is Hook. I don't see Hook. In, is that Hook? Yep, Hook's got the authority in disposition of springs and the examination of plants. Who's this? Anton. Anton has examination of insects, and it looks like no, that's Christian Huygens. Where is Anton? I think that's it for Anton. Isaac Barrow has the authority in geometry. John Betcher has the authority in whatever that is that I don't know. Because I don't have any knowledge of thermology. Robert Boyle, disposition of vacuums. That looks like it, that's it for him. Hook, we look there. Anton. There's an area I don't know. Motion of the Moon, Jean Picard, and Saturn, Giovanni Cassini. Okay. Those are the different areas. What is this? This looks like... Can't be heliocentric theory. I don't know what that is. There's a sun. It looks like there's a sun there. Alright. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.